Hi everybody, I'm Kimberly Edwards from cookingwithkimberly.com and tonight I'm going to show you how to make rhubarb mouse in these beautiful clay ramekins from fromrussia.com. Look at these beautiful things. Now there's two different designs. They're both stone, they're clay and they're gorgeous. You put these in the oven, they're oven safe, they're dishwasher safe, they're fantastic. They do a beautiful job. Now this one is slightly larger and more decorative than this one but they serve the exact same purpose. Now I'm going to show you a really great um, old recipe from my, my ancestors that came from Russia. They were German, but they actually lived in Russia and they came over here to Canada. And this is a rhubarb mouse. Now you can use, I have four cups here that I'm splitting between both of them. You can use fresh or froze. My oven is preheated to 350 degrees. And I'm putting, making sure I put this on a cooking sheet so that if anything spills over, we're still good. I'm going to put one dollop of butter in each one of them, and I'm going to sprinkle each one with about a tablespoon and a half of sugar. Now this was frozen rhubarb, so it already has a little bit of liquid from the ice crystals on it. But I'm going to add a little bit of liquid, maybe about a tablespoon to each one. I'm using tea today. You can use water if you like. Lids on, in the oven, about 30 minutes. Okay, these, this rhubarb mouse has been going for about 40 minutes now in that oven, and I'm gonna stir it up. I wanna taste for um, sweetness. Just make sure that it's sweet enough. Beautiful. I also wanna make sure that there's enough liquid. Now, I used frozen rhubarb and it all melted down, so there was quite a bit of liquid left. Otherwise, add some more if you're using fresh. I have one tablespoon and a little bit of cornstarch and cold water whisked together, half and half in each one. This is what's gonna thicken it up. Stir it up one more time, and into the oven it goes for another 10 minutes or so. Both of these ramekins did a beautiful job. They're both very comparable. This one is just decorative and larger. Um, this turned out gorgeous. It's sweet, it's beautiful. You can serve this with cream in it. You can also put ice cream with it or whatever. But this is a very traditional Russian dish, a fruit stew, they're called mouse, and that's how you make it. Make sure you check out these ramekins on fromrussia.com.